Uh, maybe if you could get a bolt and then use it to um, complete a surround or something, that would be pretty nice for him. But, um, you know, and Human has managed to put up another expansion here. But um, Grubby has now scattered it, and obviously with um, Defended Footman, uh, an Arcane Tower really just pretty much zero damage to them. And so um, when Human is forced to run his units away, but meanwhile he is running his um, army into uh, Grubby's base here, and uh, immediately using his um, Book of the Dead actually looks like he's going to try and um, maybe take out some uh, to take out maybe a couple of towers as well if he can. And um, in Inhuman now picking up his Shadow Priest, trying to get out of trouble. But now I'm running back and probably making uh, good use of his uh, Divine Shield, using it so really whenever possible, just because obviously he doesn't want to tank on his Paladin, so that's the only thing he can't heal. And so um, Grubby taking a lot of damage on this um, Molar, but I imagine I'll just heal it up. Yeah, he does heal it up. Obviously it's a good thing to heal up if you can, because you always get sort of full healing from it rather than partial healing. And uh, meanwhile, a Blood Mage is out now for Grubby as well, and so that's quite an interesting choice. Uh, I guess they'll use it for, to a safer mana away from the Mountain King, because ma mana is just so important on the Mountain King. But um, at this point, the Mountain King doesn't actually have any mana, because he's just run into the um, Arcane Tower range, and so that's all been drained away. And Yeah, he is draining mana, but obviously uh, it only lasts for about a second. And then um, it didn't. It really probably only paid for itself, because it cost 10 mana just to even start the draining of mana. And it um, looks like Inhuman might now lose this one um, Ogre Muller, but Grubby will lose a tower as well. And um, Mountain King now... Um, being uh, in a bit of trouble here, uh, getting a bit surrounded here by Grubby and being forced to TP away with only um, 27 hit points. And meanwhile, with Grubby putting up a lot of towers outside of Inhuman's base, and actually it looks like Grubby might want to claim this expansion for his own. And um, yeah, these are um, Grubby towers, but this is Inhuman's mud golem. Uh, sorry, that confused me there for a second because obviously mud golems you can't see who they belong to. But um, but uh, yeah, uh, sorry, uh, those towers have been scouted. And so Inhuman might try and respond to them, but I think he knows that Grubby's going to be going down there to fortify his towers. So, um, oh, actually he's blocked himself into his base as well, I don't see what he has. But he has built a Paladin as well, which obviously could be very useful for healing up that really low Mountain King. And if Mountain King can get 5 as well, that could be very effective against the, um, oh, well, actually against both the Blood Mage and the um, Paladin, but particularly the Paladin, because they can't be healed up just immediately. And um, Grubby now with his first three Griffin Riders, uh, one zero upgraded. I wonder if he's getting the Animal War King. No, not yet. I think um, he probably will get it pretty soon though. He is at 67 food, so you do, so you probably will be interested mainly in just um, popping units. But he has actually got an arcane tech, and I'm quite surprised about this. Uh, obviously, it's sort of almost an unnecessary expenditure. And uh, Grubby has now put up, um, taking down that expansion. I imagine he'll be putting up his own um, expansion right any second now, because he has, does have these towers up, which are sort of uh, can serve a second purpose in turn in just um, you know fortifying his own expansion now. And um, Grubby now coming in and just uh, doing a bit of creeping now, getting his Blood Mage to level 2. And uh, I imagine he's going to go for Banish second. Obviously Banish works really nicely in conjunction with Griffin Riders, because it just allows you to do so much um, extra damage with focusing. And um, also it's pretty nice for saving your own units if, if they get pretty low. And I mean, it depends on what units your opponents are going for, but often it's quite nice. But uh, uh, actually Cloud being researched as well as um, Griffin's being produced for... Um, and he went, and he went, looks like he's putting up an expansion on the other end. I think he, do, he does want to be on um, three mines if at all possible. Although um, I imagine uh, Grubby's going to scout this at some point because he just does have pretty good map awareness. And um, a couple of Dragonov Riders out for the match. He had a pretty good anti Griffin army in so far because yeah, a couple of Berserkers are nice and then also Dragonhawk Riders are also quite nice. And um, yeah. Inhuman has got the uh, uh, Animal War training upgrade. And I think that's a really important upgrade that um, lots of people seem to forget about, and I tend to get it sort of generally when I'm about 50 food. But uh, Grubby actually creeping at this here, and I'm not sure. I mean, obviously this is a really hard camp to creep anyways, but since he can't use his griffins to creep it anyways, that must be pretty tricky for him. Actually, uh, Grubby um, having his level 5 paladin in there, he should really run it away, rather than so he doesn't reach uh, sort of a massive amount of experience. And um, that, looks, that looks like what he's actually doing right now. And um, this will be very nice, gets Blood Mage up to level 3 and gets a Helm of Valor. It's a bit of a... Unfortunately, I have a strength and agility isn't brilliant, but certainly it's not the end of the world, and it's sort of a very nice item anyways. And um, level 5 Mountain King now, and level 2 Paladin, so uh, we're going to be seeing some healing from Inhuman, but certainly not on the level that Grubby's going to be healing, because Grubby obviously with level 3 Holy Light now, um, that's going to be very nice for him. And um, meanwhile, Grubby has now, I believe, finished his expansion, yeah he has, and uh, he's now able to be mining off these three, off three mines, whereas and humans actually just finished his one as well, and so I guess actually they've done um, pretty equal economies, but um, a couple of gyro uh, flying machines now coming up for Inhuman, and uh, that's going to go pretty nicely for him. Obviously once you get the tier 3 upgrade for them as well, that gives you area of effect damage, that, goes, that can go really well. And um, Cloud being used to great effect here, actually blocking out all the um, towers, 
and um, allowing him to really and human to take out these um, peasant line, but Grubby is TPing in there, and um, some pretty nice, uh, pretty nice TP there actually. Only managed just to catch um, one Dragonhawk right away. Certainly that's um, pretty good anyway, just in terms of um, denying them that, uh, uh, getting that experience for a start, and then also uh, if you can take out a Dragonhawk right early, then if an another battle happens to come soon, and that's just one fewer um, shackle they can use and stuff, and it just it really um, snowballs in that sense. And um, Grubby has now picked up the Animal War Training as well, you can see just based on the points of his um, flying units. And um, some uh, flying machines now are, are now up, out for um, for Inhuman. And uh, he does have Windsor upgrades, uh, like Grubby does, I'm not sure, maybe Grubby's upgraded further. Yeah, Grubby's actually upgraded to 1-1 one, one now, I think that's pretty sensible. Obviously he's getting close to 80 food, he's Grubby's at 75 food now. So, actually pushing to 81 and then quickly dropping down to 78. Um, I guess you even realize he didn't want to be in um, high up people. And uh, Inhuman now moving in, using, again using Cloud Pipe while well, to block off all these towers. And Grubby being forced to um, waste another TP, or not waste another TP, but to burn another TP just to um, get into the battle here. And, um, oh, actually it looks like that was a um, staff TP, a bit tricky play, because um, Grubby did buy that um, TP, uh, sta or, uh, yes, TP staff earlier um, when uh, he was TPing to between merchants. And uh, so I guess he just tried to um, fake out Inhuman, it didn't quite work. But um, certainly Inhuman has backed off anyways, because he knew Grubby was coming in, and it did buy Grubby a bit of time. Um, and meanwhile the Blood Mage is now level 3, and so probably will have level 2 set from mana, just because uh, you really want to get the mana off the um, Mountain King. And uh, Grubby at 79 food, and Inhuman at uh, 90 food actually. So um, Inhuman will probably be pushing for a fight any second now. And it looks like he is moving in right now. And um, some good shackles here being used by, here by Grubby. And he has managed to um, get lots of Inhumans units, and uh, uh, meanwhile the uh, Blood Mage has been taking a lot of damage and will need to be um, healed up, and uh, is actually there by the Paladin. And uh, Paladin is actually getting pretty close to level 6, although level 6 um, in this situation won't be particularly useful. So now he's a Banish there by Grubby as well, um, obviously um, banishing a uh, Dragonhawk Rider, just that so, uh, it wouldn't be um, killed because it was a very low hit point. And obviously um, he could then use Pulley Letter on it and actually heal it for more damage, or heal it for more health as well. And um, Grubby can't manage to deal with catch one more Griffin at the end there. And uh, so this, this went pretty nice for him because Grubby is still at 77 food. And um, Inhuman is now down to um, 70 food. So I'm um, not going too well for Inhuman really. And uh, Grubby might now decide just to um, go out and push. And uh, Grubby actually I'm um, transferring a bit of mana to his uh, Paladin. So I guess he, just, um, he knows there isn't much point in having it on the. Um, or uh, having too much at least on the Blood Mage because you can just always deal a bit more. And uh, you do need to be careful that you just. Uh, that you, that you can always keep your paladin, um, I guess, but obviously this isn't in, in any way a standard strategy, but um, certainly that would be what I, was, what, what I would try and do. And let's say like Inhuman is not going to try and um, uh, defend his uh, expansion, but instead go for attack, counter attack on Grubby. And now a lot of towers have been put up for Grubby, and so um, he will need to be careful about taking these uh, down, but uh, let's say he is actually taking a bit of damage on that Riffin Rider. But uh, he does now have level 2 healing and actually um, uses a staff to get it home quickly. And meanwhile Grubby um, will manage to take out this uh, town hall. And um, it looks like the Paladin, the Paladin staff in? Yeah, the Paladin did staff in. And um, uh, that's just um, really pretty nice for the chasing away. And um, the Mountain King's going to realize, I think, that uh, there's no one at this expansion. And, or sorry, Inhuman going to realize, and so he can TP in his entire army just because the Paladin isn't there. And so the, um, Blood Mage has no way of being healed, so we'll have to maybe banish himself, that'd be pretty nice. Um, it just uh, would stop the, the focus for a bit at least. And um, he does, yes, does banish himself and actually um, immediately pops an Arcane Scroll and then starts um, stealing more mana from the Mountain King, so pretty nice he's here. And then level 5 now on the Blood Mage and immediately um, banishes himself again, just uh, obviously just trying to stay out of the focus here. And um, Dobby doing a really good job meanwhile with his air of just um, focusing down um, all of uh, Inhuman's units. And uh, there's really not much Inhuman can do at this point, just because, um, just because uh, Grubby has mainly air units, and the Paladin has managed just to run across the map now in this time. And so Grubby did buy, um, did, did manage to um, sort of win the battle even without his primary hero, which is pretty nice. But uh, I know Grubby's actually also got the Master on um, Priest as well. I think we did see him use Inner Fire when he was creeping before, but um, we didn't. Uh, um, we saw it a couple times actually, I think, but. I didn't think to mention it or anything just because it was, there was so much going on. And um, obviously Inner Fire is an amazing skill if you're going against um, something like Air, where um, you know that they're not going to be wielding not many breakers. But it's, uh, uh, it's, it's still pretty risky to, because if they were decide, if they were planning on um, switching up, then I uh, could be in a bit of trouble. And um, one mod goal on being um, 
spot, but then immediately kill as well. And um, I can't re 